Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Company. I'm back with another Dokkan Battle video. And today, we are going to be showcasing probably my most highly anticipated LR, I think, ever. And of course, I'm referring to the brand new Extreme Fizz, Android 17 and 18 slash Android 16. Now, I know that might be a bit of an unpopular opinion, and a lot of people are not super hyped for this card, but... What can I say guys, I love the androids. I love 16, I love 17, and I especially love Android 18. So this card is perfect for me. It's super, super exciting for me. And before we jump into the gameplay, let's take a quick look at what they can do. So starting with the leader skill, it's Android's category key plus four, HP, attack, and defense plus 150%, which makes them actually a very viable replacement for the physical 17, as far as the leader for the Android's category goes. And they also give extreme physical types, key plus four, HP, attack, and defense plus 100%. And their super attacks, the uh, 12 key causes colossal damage and lowers attack and defense, and the 13, 13 key, 18 key causes mega colossal damage and also lowers attack and defense. And the passive before they do the exchange and become Android 16 is key plus one, attack and defense plus 78%, medium chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks when HP is 66% or more, and Android's category allies key plus two, attack plus 40%, which makes them pretty much the best support unit as well. For the androids category and the active skill is exchange of course and can be activated when hp is 66 percent or less with another two or more androids category allies on the team or can be activated at any time when facing an enemy whose name includes cell but does not include cell jr and this can be activated once only and once it's activated it can be exchanged or the uh, android 17 and 18 can be exchanged for the android 16 for three turns and once that exchange happens, things get pretty damn crazy. I'll show you guys in a second. And their links are Infinite Energy, Android Assault, Rival Duo, Shocking Speed, Soul vs. Soul, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. And their categories are Androids, Android slash Cell Saga, Join Forces, and Siblings Bond. Okay, so let's look at the exchange. So once you exchange and become Android 16, oh my god. Okay, so the super attacks become Hell Flash and Triple Annihilation Max. Hell Flash greatly raises defense for one turn and causes colossal damage and lowers attack and defense, while Triple Annihilation Max greatly raises attack for one turn and causes mega colossal damage and also sacrifices 6% HP, which is understandable considering how strong it's gonna be, and you guys will see that in the gameplay. And of course, the one link that changes is tough as nails, but the main thing is the passive. This guy, Android 16, gets key plus 6, attack and defense plus 200%. That's unconditional, and high chance of performing a critical hit, which I believe is also unconditional. But if you're facing an Android slash Cell Saga enemy, he also launches an additional guaranteed super attack. So um, obviously, yo, for this showcase, we had to, we had to face the new Int LR Cell Dokkan event. And here's the team, guys. Let's just jump in. I've talked enough. It's, uh, it's not to see what these guys can do, and I'm super, super stoked. I'm not sure if you guys can tell. Um, I am so looking forward to this unit, and I know when a lot of people saw the announcement in the news when Part 2 started, they were really disappointed. I, I understand, I understand, because a lot of people were really expecting the instant transmission Goku, and of course, with the Bye Guys and everything, it, it's one of the most iconic moments in the entire anime, right? But... I was actually kind of relieved because I was like, you know, we, ha we have enough Goku cards in this game, man. We really do. Okay, so obviously no uh, androids. Well, I mean, lots of androids, but not the new LR androids on this rotation. So um, we're just going to blast through this and try to get to the next rotation real quick. It's a good thing that they're not on the last rotation, though, which happens to me a lot. So uh, yeah, next rotation, we will see the androids make an appearance and uh, see what they can do. But as I was saying, man, I was like actually really happy when we found out, or when I found out, that it wasn't a new Instant Transmission Goku, and please don't hate me for it, it's just my personal opinion, but I just love the freaking Androids, man. Android Saga and Cell Saga is one of my favorite arcs in the entire franchise, and um, I'm really glad what they're doing with the, fran with, the, with the arc right now, man. Okay, so as you can see, as you can see, um, you can we can get the exchange right off the bat, like right now. Of course, I'm not going to do it yet, because I want to see what the 17 and 18 can do by themselves, but um, yeah, man, basically, if you're facing an Android slash Cell Sock enemy, which we are, 
No, actually it's not that. It's um, we're facing the cell. We're facing the perfect cell right now. You can exchange whenever you want. So we're gonna give this guy or these guys, Andrew 17 and 18, the uh, four key right there. We're gonna get the 18 key super off. No supports on rotation right now. Well, except for themselves. So they are it, their support in themselves. So let's check out how much damage you can do here. All right, 2.8 million. 2.8 mil, not bad. No other supports on rotation right now, but also pay attention to how much damage that the Android 17 is doing and how much damage the uh, Super 17 is doing. Okay, look at that, 2.3 mil. 2.3 mil from MVP 17. And obviously the reason he's doing that much damage right now is because we have the 90 or the 40% support from the uh, LR 17 and 18 right now. And obviously Super 17 never really hit that hard, so not really surprised about that damage. He hasn't received any attacks yet, so his uh, buff hasn't kicked in. But not a bad showing. Not a bad first showing, gotta say, from the uh, LR17 and 18. We're gonna do one more rotation with them in the 17-18 um, form. And then we're gonna switch over to the 16 and uh, really get this showcase on the road, guys, all right? Dude, I'm so, so freaking hyped for their banner. Um, I'm just really scared, honestly. Like, I'm really, really freaking nervous right now about summoning again for another LR because if you guys don't know, I mean, most people, I mean, everybody actually that watches my videos knows about this already, but let's say this is the first time you're discovering me or first time you're watching my, one of my videos and you don't know about my recent summons, I spent 2,700 stones, guys. <laughs> 2,700 stones. Okay, we're going to get the full... 18 keys or uh, 24 key super here. Wait, one, two, three, four. Yeah, that's enough. That's definitely enough. Okay. So I don't know why I was counting. It was definitely enough. Anyways, um, <laughs> 2700 stones did not pull a single LR Gohan. And this is with three plus one multis, right? All right. We'll get back, get back to that in a second. 3.5 mil attack stat right here. I love, yo, my favorite part of the animation is when 16 just comes in, puts his hand on Cell's shoulder. That's awesome. Okay, 2.8 mil, guys. With the double support from the, the 17 and 18 and also the 21. Oh my god, this dude's a monster too. Yeah, so not only does the LR um, hit very hard by themselves, even just like in in their 17 and 18 state, even before the trans transformation or before the... Not transformation, sorry, the exchange. Um, they are still quite monstrous, right? They're, they're still like... Wait, what am I trying to say? Okay, so... They're, they're very good before exchange, but they also are very, very good support units that make the rest of your rotation, the rest of your team a lot stronger too. I'm sorry if my words are not making sense right now, but mine is like speeding at a million miles an hour. Like, there's just so much, go so, so many things going on in here. I'm so like, <laughs> I'm just trying to say everything at once and obviously it's not working, but uh, I think I got the point across, right? Like not only do they, do very well themselves. They also make the rest of your team much, much stronger. As you saw, man, that's that, that Android 17 literally just did a 3.2 mil crit. And that's not something you see out of Android 17, um, even though he's very good. Don't get me wrong, he's very good. You don't, you don't really see something like that from him without the kind of support you get from the new LR 17 and 18. Okay, so now we're gonna do the exchange here. Perfect. We also have the uh, Android 18 on rotation as a support unit, so we're gonna pop this right here. Oh my gosh, so beautiful, so beautiful. Yo, I love 18 like in every single frame, man. I also love this the space he makes here, the 16. Um, just so smug. He looks so freaking smug. I love it. Okay, so we, okay, so we're starting off with 19 key, 19 key before any orbs are given. And let's look at his defense. His defense is 179,995 right now. Holy, okay. Well, full 21 key super. Cell is definitely dead. Um, I might do another, I might do another run after this just so we can get a little bit more. Cause I feel like that went by really fast. Like really, really fast. Okay, here we go. Five million. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my god, 3.5 mil finish. Uh, we, yo, we didn't even get to see additional. We did not even get to see an additional. Here's the thing, like, I don't, I don't know how much uh, HP the cell actually has, but I'm, that might have one-shot him even at full HP, possibly. I don't really know, but um, obviously we would have been guaranteed that additional super 
if we didn't kill him. All right, so I skipped ahead a little bit to save some time, and now we're gonna pop this active skill once again and see what the 16 can do against the Int Cell in a second, but also against the Cell Juniors and the uh, Perfect Cell here as well. Okay, here we go, guys. Here we go. I just, I just wanted to see a little bit more of 16 because I didn't get enough, man. We only got one attack out of him. All right. So he gets the full 12 key, or sorry, the full 24 key super once again. And uh, let's launch it against this perfect cell here. We should get the additional as well on the cell junior after. Okay, so 5 million once again. Triple annihilation max. And are we gonna get a crit here? We probably should. There we go, 4.49 mil with the additional super. Of course, the 12 key, but still close to 3 million. Three, still close to 3 million attack. 2.8 million crit right there. He does have the high chance to crit on his passive and 200% uh, attack defense, guys. That's just crazy. That is just madness, right? <laughs> oh my god, I love this unit. I love this unit so freaking much. Um, you know what? All my all my hype, I think, was worth it. I think all the hype was justified, at least for me personally. I, like I said, man, I feel like it's a pretty unpopular opinion. It's got a nice view right there. Um, that's a rare transformation, actually. I don't see that. I don't see that very often at all. But um, yeah, dude, like <sighs> I'm out of things to say. I, I think I've said everything that there is to say. Um, let me know in the comments, of course, what you guys think about this unit. I think they are absolutely amazing. I think they are. Not like, I, I want to say the best unit like right now, you know, I, I still think that Kale and Khalifa are probably better, I think. Um, probably Gohan and Goten too, I, I, I'd say, I, it's, maybe it's close, I don't really know, but I, I don't know if it, like they're like the best unit, like I don't want to go that far in the game right now, but um, definitely up there, man, definitely top, top three, top five, something like that. And they're just so freaking fun to use, they're an amazing support before the exchange and then after exchange. It's pretty much over, and the conditions that you need to satisfy to actually get him to transform, or I keep saying transformation because I'm used to like trans transforming, transforming units, right? Uh, but no, the exchange. Uh, oh my god! Oh my god! Six million crit, one shot cell. We one shot cell. All right, yeah, I'm satisfied. I'm good. I'm good. Um, but yeah, I mean the conditions to 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 satisfy the uh, exchange is actually not bad at all, man. Well, compared to like Cell, um, that the LR Cell that is the new one and the LR Gohan, his transformation mechanic is or his exchange mechanic is actually much much easier to satisfy than those guys. All you have to do, all you have to be is below 66% HP uh, and have two other androids category allies on the team. That's it, right? That's all you need. And obviously, if you're facing in these situations, we're facing an android slash, no, no, uh, it's, it's a cell, right? If you're facing a cell, then you can transform anytime. So that is basically the easiest condition you could ever have. I'm sorry I keep saying transform. I really can't help it. Like, I'm trying to say exchange as much as possible, but like, it just keeps coming out, man. I just keep saying, I keep saying transform for some reason. But uh, you guys get the point. You guys get the point. It's really easy to satisfy that exchange, that passive skill, or that active skill uh, condition. And just for that reason alone, that makes them really, really good too. Like, really, really solid. Okay, so now we're back to the 17 and 18. And uh, we're pretty much going to finish off this showcase here with a super from them, I think. It should be enough. It should be enough. But, I mean, there's not much else we need to see from 16. You, you only get him for three turns, unfortunately. So, basically... A maximum of two appearances because the turn that he's off rotation also counts so you really can only attack with him for two turns but once you go back like i said man these android 17 and 18 they're still really really solid look at that two million damage three million attack stat um supporting the entire rotation supporting the entire team making your entire team more tanky more attack a hit harder uh, get more key it's just an awesome, awesome situation with this card, and um, it's a must-have for me. It's a must-have for me. I know I spent 2700 for Gohan, but I, I, I don't even care about Gohan anymore. I, I don't even care about Gohan anymore. This is the card I need. This is the card I'm going for. If I don't pull them for some reason, and I'm going deep, guys. I'm, pulling very, go, I'm going very, very deep. Knock on wood, if for some reason I don't pull this new LR Androids, then they are the number one. LR, the number one card I'm going for with my saved up gold coins. 
and um, nothing can really change my mind on them, and nothing can change that fact. So, there is the showcase, my friends. I am so freaking in love with this unit. They look amazing, they play amazing. They are three of my favorite characters in the entire franchise, and, um, you know, that's the showcase, man. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the showcase, enjoyed me nerding out, freaking out over uh, this unit, and um, that's pretty much it, man. As always, if you guys liked the video, make sure to like the damn video, and if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's pretty much it. That's all I gotta say. Until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.